Marvel Studios Moon Knight introduced not only Moon Knight, but also Mr. Knight into the MCU. So I'm talking with two of the guys who designed these incredible characters, Ryan Minerding and Rodney Fuentebella. Good to see you guys. All right, let's get into it. Moon Knight and Mr. Knight are two dynamic characters who of course share a common bond. And so I gotta ask the two of you, how did you approach creating these characters in tandem? Since we were gonna have Moon Knight and Mr. Knight, you know, we were trying to figure out what would be the best contrast to have between them if they both share that sort of crisp white look to them. Both Moon Knight and Mr. Knight have the sense of history that they're encompassing the powers of Khonshu who's been around for centuries and taking that in. To look at those two costumes together and compare and contrast them, each of the personalities is, is coming out in its own distinct way, was really the fun of this project. That duality of those personalities is one of the coolest parts about the project. So where did you first start to find inspiration for these looks? We really always start with the comics, right? We go back and look at different runs of the comics, different artists that have executed brilliant designs and brilliant illustrations. You know, for me, I, I always loved Stephen Platt's Moon Knight and I loved um, Bill Sankovich's Moon Knight. It becomes such a fun part of the process to look at what all these amazing artists have put together that we can use as reference to try and execute what the filmmakers are trying to do. We wanted to make sure that there is a sense of what we are doing in the show is something that is also seen and you could say like, oh, this is a great interpretation of what has been seen in the comics. It looks amazing. Now, Ryan, what was the design process like for Moon Knight? The characteristics we were most specifically trying to highlight in the Moon Knight suit were trying to get something that feels like he's a warrior or tactical or mixing those two things together, something that feels Egyptian and something that feels ancient. The mixes that were coming out ended up feeling maybe a little bit too much like other heroes because of the tactical. So we ended up trying to find what was a replacement for the tactical that would allow us to get something that was superhero and Egyptian together. In the last few iterations we were doing, the idea came up to make him sort of a linen wrapped armor, essentially a, a set of armor that would have been meant to be preserved in an ancient tomb. That idea was born out of essentially Khonshu having a ceremonial set of armor that somehow existed and Mark could conjure it when he needed to become Moon Knight. Something that feels inherently Egyptian mixed with something that also feels really like a, a warrior set of armor. All of that came together into that Mark Spector look. Because we so much think of Moon Knight as being the crescent moon, I also like the idea that other phases of the moon were important too. So that crescent moon is sitting on top of like a stone piece that's actually textured like a full moon as well, which is not inherently noticeable. You have to sort of be looking for it, but they did accomplish it and I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, also pretty cool, Mr. Knight. Uh, Rodney, could you please walk us through the Mr. Knight design? So Mr. Knight is what Steven thinks, okay, I'll just create a suit for myself and he creates a suit that is an amalgamation of what he thinks a suit is and the powers that he's being bestowed by Khonshu. We took a lot of the inspiration from Egyptian artifacts and putting that into the textures and the details of the lapel and we wanted to make sure that like he felt of something that's not just a person in a suit but something that felt like a superhero as well. The director, Mohammed, he um, wanted to really make sure that the look of Mr. Knight had the sense of duality. So we played with a lot of different concepts of what that could be and incarnations of what his mask could be in the sense of that split. And whether it's different textures that we were playing around with, we ended up with that scene that goes down the middle of his face. I love details like that. And these characters are amazing. What's it like for the two of you to see them now out in the world? the dual component of his personality that each one of those visuals plays off each other is, is such an interesting setup and payoff um, in the series. And it's a real honor to have worked on it. And it's, it's super fun to think that, that people are gonna have a whole new hero to enjoy and, and hopefully explore and love as much as we all do here. Oh, it's amazing. It's one of those things where I have to pinch myself. We spend countless hours working on these projects and seeing fans out there enthralled by what we do as well, it just makes me feel like, oh, it was worth it. <laughs> totally all worth it. Ryan, Rodney, thanks so much for spending time and talking with us. Everybody out there, go watch Marvel Studios Moon Knight. All episodes are now streaming exclusively on Disney+. Plus.